confirming that we received helicopter data products. For more than three hours, NASA engineers waited anxiously for the signal of success from 179 million miles away. Engineers reporting having performed landing, touchdown and spin down. Then came the first video, their mini helicopter flying three metres above the Martian surface, taking a snap of its shadow and safely touching down in the red dust. An historic flight of 39.1 seconds. We can now say that human beings have flown a rotorcraft on another planet. This was NASA's Wright Brothers moment. Just 117 years ago, Orville and Wilbur flew for the first time on Earth. A patch of fabric from that plane was taped to ingenuity for luck. The landing gear appears to have worked well. All the servo mechanisms and motors are doing great. The uh, computers and the avionics behaved uh, flawlessly. So all in all, it's in a perfect state. Um, and I'm just really excited to see what all she can teach us over the next few weeks. Ingenuity weighs the same as two bags of sugar with twin rotors 120 centimetres long. Too far away to be controlled from Earth, the helicopter had to fly autonomously, coping with Mars's gusting winds on its own and overcome some challenging physics. A drone flies by pushing down on a cushion of air, but Mars's atmosphere is just 1% of the density of our own. It's so thin, it's barely there. So to hover above the planet's surface, Ingenuity's rotors spin 40 times a second. Perseverance rover is taking a break from its search for signs of ancient life to test out what could be an aerial scout on future missions, perhaps one day even guiding astronauts the idea is to, to fly it to different locations to be able to effectively sort of test the boundaries of what you can really do in such a thin atmosphere um, with, with this type of thing. So the idea is to test this for future missions. A successful flight on Mars now gives NASA a new tool to explore the solar system. Thomas Moore, Sky News.